First testifier. We take the first testimony now. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Our God is good. I have Sister Chizoba Obina here with me, a 38 year old sister who has never perceived any smell before in her life, whether sweet or offensive. But yesterday night, here in this ground, 30th, yes, 30th of November, up till 30th of November, she has never perceived any smell at all in her life. And 30th November, at the last crusade, the wonders of the cross, the Lord answered her prayers. Praise the Lord. Praise the living God. Our God is good. And I'm a living testimony today. Praise the living God. By the grace of God, my name is Tachis of Obinna. And I want to thank the Lord for the salvation of my soul. In the year 1998, August 27th, up to date, the Lord saved my soul. By the grace of God, I am born again. Praise the Lord. In fact, let me just go straight to the testimony of last month. Even though I have many testimonies, but well, let me go straight to the because of time. In fact, since I was born, I don't know how it happens. Right from the time I was growing up to the time I finished school and got married. I don't know what it's called. Maybe this thing is smelling or not. Just like that. But to me, I didn't see it as a problem. I overlook the situation, but God never overlook. Praise the Lord. Even until I got married, I have four kids up to that November 30th. Sometimes when rats died in the house, I wouldn't know the rats were rotted there. In fact, it will be my husband that will say, don't I perceive anything, I say nothing. He said, what? In fact, I've been thinking, I say, in fact, it's like we will go to hospital to know. What happened to your smelling organ? Praise the Lord. In fact, I noticed that the problem is hereditary. When my mother came over to my place, one day I was cooking, I put something on fire, and I was busy doing another thing. In fact, the thing started burning. She was there, right close to the kitchen. The thing was burning. I was just hearing people, Mama light, Mama light. Ah, I quickly run down. I saw, they said the thing you are cooking is burning. Ah, I look at my mother. I say, ah, Ma, you are here. Now, don't you hear? He said, for where? Whether did she hear anything? I say, ha. Ah. That means like mother, like daughter, this is what I received from you. Oh, I look at it. I say, God, I beg. But to tell you the gospel truth, I never one day need her and begin to pray. I say, God, restore back my uh, smelling organ. Because I look at it that it's nothing to Okay, go straight to the testimony. Lord. But on that thirtieth of November, when the crusade is on, I send my daughter to go and collect meats that I normally use and cook. I said, send it home and come back to the crusade ground. And she did, she did so. When she came back, for the long time we spent in the crusade, the meat is inside Lilo. So when we finished the crusade, after the pastor prayer, we went home. Merely we went home, we opened door and entered inside for the first time, my brethren. I don't know how it happens. I never pray. Even that night, I didn't pray. Say, God, restore this to me or heal me from this. I was busy praying for another thing. Praise the Lord. Immediately I enter inside, I say, ah, I say, this meat is smelling. In fact, I hold myself back. I say, am I the one saying the meat is smelling? I called my husband. I said, Obi, do you hear anything? He said, the meat is smelling. I called my son. I said, light. Is, the, is there any, do you pass He said, mommy, the meat is smelling. I said, so I can hear now. In fact, that night I was jubilating. I said, May all glory, honor, adoration be unto God alone in Jesus' name. And I want to use this opportunity to encourage everyone here. You are here. 
believe the word of God, you shall receive your miracle. And God will continue honoring you. Amen. The of God in Jesus' name. Amen. She couldn't smell before. The power of God touched her. A smelling power came back. God is powerful. More testimonies. Keep checking now. Keep checking now. Keep checking now. There's a miracle around you there. Keep checking now. The power of God is there. Next testimony now. Praise the Lord. I have with me here Favor Ngobodo, 13 year old. He hit his eye, the left eye, against a bookshelf four years ago. And since then, he started dropping tears from his left eye uncontrollable. And he had headaches since then. He was given glasses to prevent direct air from coming into the eyes so that the, air, the eyes will not tear as much until yesterday he was coping with that challenge. And yesterday, the Lord touched him. Praise the Lord. My name is Uobodo Fable, and I'm 13 years old. Um, by the grace of God, I'm born again. When I was in primary six, I hit my eye against the bookshelf, and since then, I've been having problems in my left eye. I couldn't see clearly with it, and it's been dropping tears uncontrollably. So I've been praying with my mom, my, my parents, and some of my leaders in the church know about it. So when I, I, took, I went to the hospital to get glasses, and they said that the tissues in my left eye had been damaged. So I had to start using glasses to prevent sunlight, there is sunlight and air from entering it. But by the grace of God, yesterday, after the prayer of the man of God, I can no more feel any sensation of pain in my eye. Praise the Lord. Wonderful. Testing, give me something to read now. Testing. I, I think it's testing. Give me something to read now so that everybody will see it. Let him just read a line. Official. Official. Very good. Praise the Lord. Ah, Jesus has worked there. Praise the Lord. Your own miracle is there also. Check on the next testifier. After this, we'll go online. Next testifier. <laughs> Praise the Lord. I have Sister Esther Ilenomo here with me. She lost the function of the motor function of her right hand May this year. But at the Divine Connection Crusade, she got her miracle. Praise the Lord. Eba mi nyonua logo. Eba mi nyesu logo. Orukomini, Arabun and Sister Esther Ilenoma, Lachi, Agege, Apostolic District. Motupani or War, Lono Poo, or Yanotoko, Lono Shenino, Ayemi, Arupenino Shukano, Arupo Mobeles, Nini, Irora, Nino, or War Tree, Arupo Boba, Kana Menye, Bobu, Me, Lefidi Kamu, a daughter to Adu Lino, and if or one year, Akaya, Ama Romi. Di mo se fi di maki mu yen to ba je pe tele ni mi ni le fi di maku mu dada after we be the two five minutes apa yen ati ma ro mi ma ma wa bi to de pe ma ju maki yen si mo wa dupe ni owo olorun pe ninu osu kefa soji akoko ti baba ma se ni abuja ari pe ojo to ke yen ninu e baba so fu ade ojo yen ba se de ile soji ko to di pe ma bere adura oni ka koko oni bi ta ju ko si yen oni ka ju ko oni ka bere si ma fe se wa tele mo wa bere si ni fe se mi tele mo bere si ni fe se mi te ori ka ma so fo olorun gbogbo nkan to nbe ni na ara wa tiki se ti olorun ko bere si ma jade ari pe lo ju ese mo sa bere si ni so fo olorun mo wa so fo oluwa gbogbo nkan ti e da ma mi to ti yo kele wonu e kan na e oluwa jo ba mi yo jade bi mo se gba adura ari pe baba wa so yi pe ka da oju wa a wa la oju ni la oju tu mo ma la oju mo wa wo ese mi ni bi tu mo joko si ari pe mo wa ri pini kan la pini to ma fi de na pi fun awon omo mo wa ri pini yen lori esemi lori aso mommy kan to joko chi mi mo wa so fun mo ni mommy 
Monica woke up, only Kinney, Monica Wopini, only Bolo to Jad, Money Mimo. Moa to Pedro, I repel that cheek by ye, Chitty dia Coco ye, Cosi Rama, Boko Pekia, Kanama Tanya, keep up by Matanya, keep up by Masha, Cosi Yama, Latin by ye, but by Shayano, ever me, you do a logo. Praise the Lord. She had this pain and swelling in her right fingers. And she, as a chorister, she could not handle microphone anymore. But that fateful day, when the man of God was ministering during the Abuja Divine Connection um, crusade, she was praying. And while she was praying, she saw a, a safety pin with which um, the pick nappy, um, to lock the nappy, fell on her, uh, by her legs. And since then, she got her healing. Praise the Lord. God has done that one. We now take some online testimonies. Power of God. Coming from Bibian Ogochuku. Bibian uh, Okafo from a jaw group. She's been having hip joint pain. But then, just now, after the prayer of the man of God, according to her, the hip joint pain vanished. And now she is free. Earlier, we told you how COVID 19 bowed to the power of prayers after the prayer of the man of God all the way from the United States of America. Charity Uma, we told you, will bring the follow-up of that testimony. We are now live to the United States of America, where we link up with Charity Uma for the testimony.
Ibo iki kupo, ufani kiba. So basi bo yoke kamado. Adi nyami, bo yau bo ani abasi. Kenyan Jesus. Praise the Lord. Our sister name is Sister Mbre. She is born again. She is here in Dipolai Bible Church, Musa District, Language Church. She had a heart pain for six good years, and she has been taking medication, but to no avail. But she made up her mind during showers of blessing global crusade. She attended the program. When our general superintendent asked that if you have any challenge, raise up one of your hands and lay your hands upon that point. And she did so. After the final amen, the problem was rolled away. Six years had pain taken away by the Lord. Praise the Lord. And now we return to the slave overseer. We return to the moderator. One years ago, she had a boil in her right ear. After that, she had partial hearing from that left uh, right ear. Eight years ago, she had a, an <clears throat> she had an in injection, and she also had hearing loss in the left ear. For the past five years, she has been using hearing aid device until today. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. My name is Sister Salaistin Doilola. I am from K2 Old Group, Koshofer Group. I thank the name of the Lord for what the Lord did for me today. Since, 2020, uh, since the year uh, 2020, I've been having the issue of ear, hearing uh, problem. As a result of boil that entered my, uh, the, the bo I had boil, and as a result of that, I had, I lost my hearing. And then 2013, I was in the hospital, they gave me chemotherapy, and it destabilized my ear totally. But I thank God for tonight. I've been on hearing device since 2016 and by the grace of God each time I come to church I always try to come to the front to listen so that I have able to hear the word of God even with my hearing device I'll be looking for a place to sit at the front so that I can be able to get the word of God but tonight the Lord did wonders in my life today I was at the at very far back very far back and by the grace of God our father in the Lord was ministering and I could hear very clearly and that is how the Lord delivered me from this partial deafness. And I thank God because I believe that what the Lord has done will be permanent in my life in Jesus' name. Praise the Lord. Wonderful. Wonderful. God has done that. Test her now. Test her, please. I couldn't hear you. How are you? I'm very fine. Use your mic. I'm fine, thank you. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Let's testify. Praise the Lord. I have Sister Juliet Odili here. She's been a known hypotensive. She usually had high blood pressure reading of 190 and 100 and above. 
and she's not been able to sleep for six months. At the last global crusade of Enugu, she, her blood pressure became normalized. Since then, she's been running a blood pressure of 120, yeah, 70 yeah, on the average. Yeah. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. My name is Sister Juliet Odili. I'm from Unity Location, Bada, Bada Group of Districts, Ali Mojo, Lagos State, Nigeria. It's happened like this. In the year 2019, I lost my job. By special grace of God, I was able to secure another job this year. So I was called for an interview. And I was come back, I was called again to, for, to, to come for medical checkup. On the process of that, I, I, they discovered that I had a high blood pressure. And they placed me on the medications, which I reacted to it. And I'll be badly, I cannot sleep, I can't eat, I can't drink water, I can't do anything. So by special grace of God, during the period of a global crusade of Enugu, as her father was, as her father in the Lord was ministry, after the ministration, I got my healing. And God healed me totally and completely. I went back to the hospital to go and recheck my blood pressure. My blood pressure came down. My heart beat that was beating fast, everything stopped. I said, may it never be glorified in Jesus' name. Praise the Lord. Let's expire. After the next expire, we'll go online. Next expire. Next expire. God is doing great thing. Okay, let, let, let's take the online. Let's go online. Miracles happening online. And uh, we are now getting uh, the United States testimony being put together. Hopefully, we'll get you that before the end of the program. But now, we will go to Edo State, South South Nigeria, for a live testimony. Edo State, live. Praise the Lord. Good morning. Praise the Lord. My name is Mary, Sister Mary Christopher. I'm from the Obazwa region for Edo State. My testimony go like this. Yes. My testimony go like this. When I have stomach place, uh, pain, I go to hospital. They say me that to go, <clears throat> my stomach will swell up. When they say me I go to, to the, to the hospital, uh, 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 let me go to the uh, uh, standing. When I do stand, it's kind of finished. They say, may I go uh, into a uh, theater to, to operate me? I said, no, I will not operate. Then when I hear the, the, uh, the crusade in Abuja, the miracle crusade, for the first time when they go, I say, God, God will heal me. If you don't heal me, I will not let you go. Jacob said that if you don't bless her, I will not let you go. When Jesus was prayed, he can say anything when you have a stomach, a heart pain, may you lay your heart put for the place where you're paining you. Then I lay my heart put there, and the thing will run you up and down. When I hear pray, I say the last amen, and the thing disappear. Praise the Lord. That the second one, the second one in the in the Enugu state, I have a leg pain. If you see my leg, very swell up. They are not feel burned like this. I don't feel straight. I don't feel move with them. Then when I go there, I say, God, you when you do that for the first time, and you must do for the second one. Then what would they do? They say, anywhere where you have pain, may you lay your hand there. Then I lay my hand for the leg. I say, God, this is the last day. I will not receive the and uh, receive pain again. I will not go to the pain, uh, go back to the pain like this. When I hear the last amen and the leg vanish. And from today now, all the legs, I will bend, I will move up and I'm not here. Praise the Lord. Leg pain Praise cleared. the Lord. And stomach pain cleared. My name is Sister Mary. I'm from a Gobazua region. My testimony goes like this, concerning the life of my baby. When I had pregnancy of this baby, I, I they say that I would do operation before I deliver this baby. 
I run, I come meet our pastor, I say, Daddy, they say I will, del I will deliver this baby for, uh, through oppression. But my daddy say I should not fear. I will not deliver this baby through oppression. And they pray for me. And I deliver this baby successfully without oppression. I deliver it successfully more than the one that I'm delivered before. I give glory unto God. Praise the Lord. We now return to the moderator. Praise the Lord. We have had testimonies tonight. You must share your own. I told you that something has happened in your own life. And make sure you had that woman, he said, except you bless me, I will not let you go. You should tell God the same thing, that this crusade, except you receive your blessing, you will not go. And God will hear you. Let's rise up now as we pray so that we can go and pray.